That's screen legend Marilyn Monroe behind the scenes, filming an iconic moment in movie history. Isn't it delicious? Everyone knows this scene from the seven-year itch. It's even spooked in a recent this Snickers a commercial. Disaster. Who's the genius who puts a girl in heels on a subway grate? Miss Monroe, eat a Snickers. Why? You get a little cranky when you're hungry. Better? Much better. But you may not realize that the scene in the movie is actually a reshoot of a much more risque scene captured on the lost film and presumed gone forever. The lost footage was shot 63 years ago right here at Lexington Avenue and 52nd Street in New York City by a home movie buff who lived in the neighborhood. Now his granddaughter is sharing it with the world. My grandfather always used to talk about that he shot Marilyn Monroe. That he Bonnie Siegler's her. grandfather, Jules Schulbach, was a furrier who fled Nazi Germany in 1938. His hobby was taking home movies all around his adopted city of New York, and in September 1953, he heard that Marilyn Monroe would be filming her new movie right around the corner. He went out at 1 a.m. with his Bolex and, um, and somehow managed to get right behind the director. He was feet away from her, and it was pretty impressive. Her grandfather was actually one of the thousands of men who showed up that night to watch Marilyn as her skirt flew over her head. But there was one guy there who wasn't pleased with the hooting and hollering, Marilyn's husband, baseball legend Joe DiMaggio, who got so enraged he stormed off the set. Supposedly, DiMaggio was so upset he beat Marilyn when she got back to their room at the St. Regis Hotel. They divorced three weeks later. He told me the whole story really growing up that Joe DiMaggio got angry that night and it was wild um, and that he had the footage, but I had never seen it. Interestingly, director Billy Wilder never used any of the footage that he shot that night, says writer Helene Stepinski, whose article, The Lost Footage of Marilyn Monroe, appeared in the New York Times. It was really risque. I mean, it was, it was not going to go over with the censors. I mean, her dress was up over her ears. The scene that ultimately appeared in the movie was actually shot in a studio back in Hollywood. Isn't it delicious?